Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle on my way to yet another doctor's appointment. I'm supposed to be there right now. <sighs> so I'm going to be about 10 minutes late. But um, as you can see, your girl got her girlfriend stretched out. Not completely stretched, but she's blowed out. She's not flat ironed. And, uh, oh, I'm hot. Um, I ended up having an issue this morning. So... I wasn't able to um, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do so I really wanted to get my hair braided right but of course my hair has to be somewhat out of its natural state uh, meaning no curls no product in order to get it done so it needed to be washed and it had been needed to be washed like it should have been washed like last week so yeah the girl was just kind of taking her time anyway so I got it washed and blowed out um but now <laughs> i don't know if it's going to get braided like seriously i'm thinking about calling somebody like can y'all please just get a sister in it's freshly washed it's clean it's ready just let's go so um and i know somebody's probably thinking like that's not her hair she got on a headband wig because that's the headband she wear with her wigs yeah it is it's one of my headbands but um and i'll show you once i get a little bit closer to a stop um this is definitely coming out my scalp oh my goodness but i do have a wig that looks like this <laughs> i think i ticked somebody off when i wore it too they were like why are you wearing a wig like that see this is all me all me all me so i'll keep it off until i get to where i'm going but anyway um yeah they got mad because i wore my hair out like this right and then i put a wig on and it looked just like this and they were like why you got that wig on your hair look just like that blah 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 well i mean why not you know what i mean so anyway wrong stop um i'm like supposed to be there right now it's 10 02. <sighs> hopefully doc is running late let's let's hope doc is running late so anyway um Gotta get that good young water in. Cause that's the first thing he's gonna ask me. You been drinking your water? Yes, sir. Drinking my water. You talking about you in pain? Drinking your water? Yes, I'm drinking my water. So anyway, I also brought a clip too to clip my hair up because I'm like, um, I don't want. Dang, which way is it go? I think it goes. Shoot, I don't know one of these ways but um i don't want them to be playing in my hair you know when they doing the exam and stuff so yeah is this my turn yeah this is my turn oh but anyway so i had an issue this morning um so if you saw the previous video you saw that i had meetings and i was working and i'm doing all this stuff y'all well let me tell you Miss Pina must have said something this morning about something that, you know, was discussed in my meeting. I said, oh, I'm not about to be sitting up here calling this person for them to be doing this. No, 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 I'm going to go straight to the source. So I went up to school today. I ain't show my, my natural backside, no, because that's not what I do. Hmm? Okay? Get into it. You can't be a person of... Uh, of importance and showing out right so anyway um i think i got it on right i don't know i took it off so y'all can see and now i got it on wrong anyway um but i had to go up there and handle some business i had to file a complaint and when i get to where i'm going i need to check my email to see if i got a response to this complaint because I, com I filed a complaint with one person but i was like um i know that you guys aren't really necessarily the ones so i need to be put in contact with their direct supervisor and then i'm gonna take it up from there because they don't have no problem with that have no problem so um and you know my baby is newly having accommodations and things and people not doing as they should child listen you don't want the boss lady on your butt put it like that so therefore yeah Whew. when i tell you i was i have i have actually i have three different dryers right i only use two yes your girl has to use two 
So one has a comb attachment, the other one is a brush. So I use the comb. First I just kind of blow it, blow it, blow it. Then I use the comb. Then I pulled out the brush and used the brush. I haven't used the brush in a long time, but I was trying to get it to its, you know, stretch it as far as I could. Baby, this stuff, and like this side is not as, I guess you would say straight as this side. Not that it's like bone straight, but this side is more, it still needs a little more work, I feel like. So I might have to take the dryer back through it, but I got things to do. So, um, I'm supporting one of, uh, Miss Pina's old classmates. Um, she's a cheerleader or whatever. So, uh, she's selling candy and I'm like, oh yeah, I support. So I've already done paid for it. So when I leave the dock, I'm going to go get my candy. Do I need it? No. Does Miss Pina like candy? Yes. So, you know, it'll get a, but I figure, you know, let me at least do a little something, something. Oh, oh, that just <laughs> yay! <laughs> See, ain't no wrong with being a little late because Doc is just he's outside, he hasn't even came in yet. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. In a little bit, okay. I'm back. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Not that kind of done, but I'm done with that appointment. So, I'm getting ready to go and uh, get gas. <laughs> This time I get gas in a repable spot and uh, head to friend's house, grab this candy, and then take myself home for bed. <laughs> I should take myself to lunch. How about that? Mm. Should we do that? Should we go out to lunch? Mm. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I had to pin that good hair up, Chad. I had to pin the hair up. Pin that hair up. I need to call mama. I need to call my mama and just say hey. Haven't really talked with her since Friday. So it's date night tonight. I have no idea what we're doing. It's only 62 degrees. So as you can see, I got on a long sleeve. Oh, I'm sorry about the sun, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Um, anyway, Doc said I don't have to come back. Um, Friday unless I absolutely need to um, so that's a good thing um, he said he wants me to enjoy my vacation I'm like me too and, and you know here's the other thing I don't know where America and I'm saying America I'm not just saying people but I don't know where in America it is said that if you have a day off work that you're supposed to go out of town who puts that in the atmosphere? Let me hurry and turn to this cloud to get off of y'all. Hold on a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Here we go. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. But where in America is it stated that if you have a day off work or a few days off work or if you're off for a week that you are just supposed to go out of town? Where? Who Who put that? Where, where is it written? Can somebody tell, give me the dictionary? The book, look, I know that's right. He outside his bathrobe chilling, honey. I know that's right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, that's what you call good retirement right there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just like, just because I'm off doesn't mean I have to be going out of town. Sorry, I done turned again. I didn't mean to do that. I forgot. I'll be turning again in a second. But yeah, I just that kind of irritated me. Like, what? How come you ain't going nowhere? Well, why do I need to? If you gon' if you gonna fund my trip, pay my bills while I'm gone, I'm out of here. How about that? But if you're not doing none of that, shut up talking to me. Period. Point blank. So anyway. Anyway, anyhow, okay. I'm like, I feel like I'm working overtime. And no, I don't want to be. Oh, I thought it was 419 over here. It's 429. Jesus, keep me near the cross. <sighs> Lord, I don't remember where I saw the 419 at. It's a daggone shame. I mean, I got gas, but I need gas. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got gas in the truck, but I need 
that I don't like to be low. But, uh, I ran to one of my guy sisters um, <laughs> at the doctor's office. <laughs> As I was leaving out, I was talking. She was like, she called me by my nickname. And I said, yes? Like, you know, because it was the way it was said. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, because I knew it was implied for me. And so when I, you know, responded, then the other doctor opens the door. <laughs> and it's my guy sisters. And I looked at there like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she got up and gave me a hug. I was like, hey. So she's the same age as um, baby girl. My Lord. And I'm so proud of her, too, because she's doing her thing. She's, you know, entrepreneur. Um, and what I love about her, you know, she, she didn't go to college. You know, she was like, college wasn't for me. And shoot. The girl is doing a great job traveling and got her own business and doing stuff for the community. And, you know, she's doing her thing. I'm like, girl, handle your business. Bought herself a house. I'm like, okay, get it, get it. I just thought, where am I going? I guess, well, I said I was going to 429 here too. Lord help. So. I'm just going to get on the road and see if I can find a gas station further out. Yes. But anyway. Ooh, child, this hair. And what I love about it, because my hair is like, oh, you want me to be blowed out, but I prefer to be curly. So it likes to curl on its own. That's why I keep messing with it because it keeps, I can feel it like it's, you know, curl it. I'm like, girl, I need you to stretch out, honey, because I, I need some braids. I need you to be braided. I need you to be braided. I wish I could have got it done over the weekend, but, you know, it is what it is. God is good. But I'm going to put a pin in y'all, because I'm getting on this freeway, and I need to focus, because folks be out here driving like a bat out of grace, and ain't nobody got time for that nonsense. Like, this fool right here don't want to let me in. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put a pin in y'all and I'll be back once I get on regular roads. Okay, so I'm stationary now. Um, I'm at the gas station. And this time, <laughs> I went inside, made sure my gas was right. Um, so I got it at 409. <laughs> as opposed to 464, Lord help. Ooh, I'm looking like Diana Ross's cousin. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it's filling up now. I put $30 in, so... That should take me close to full. Close. Okay, as long as you don't hit me. Because I'm going to own your truck. Anyway. Um, Y'all, kids these days is rude as heck. They ain't got no home training. Lord have mercy. So this boy, and he older than my grandson, so he should know better. But I'm walking in the gas station. He going to open up the door and literally... um. Like, not hold the door for me. Like, literally, I'm, like, right behind him. Not, like, I, you know, two feet away. I'm, like, right behind him on his heels. And he just kind of opened the door, squoes through it. And, yeah, I said squoes. And then just walked. I was like, are you serious, you little ungrateful? <sighs> then something was going on up here. These people was up here hooping and hollering, arguing and stuff. I'm like, Lord, am I in the hood or where am I? And I'm in a suburb. But anyway, that just tells you. A lot of drama out this way. But let me go ahead and um, get the thing. It just popped, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, well, I thought it was going to take me to full. <laughs> it's like literally below three-fourths. It was past a fourth, though. So, I don't plan to do too, too much else. <sighs> Run around. Oh, I should have threw that garbage away while I was in here. That's all right. Excuse me. Oh, anyway, I got some good news. That's what I was going to tell y'all. When I was, um, where was I? Oh, when I was doing my hair. Miss Peanut must have texted me. Do y'all's kids have a certain way they call your name? Don't hit me now. My, my kids, they have a certain way they call me when they need something, something going on, whatever, right? 
So Miss Peanut, her and her sister, they just are like, I mean, I'm telling you, the way they call my name, I'd be like, Lord help. So, um, where am I supposed to put the thing in it? Uh, oh, chat. Okay, hold on. Because I'm like, <laughs> I ain't never been in this car wash before, so I'm like, I don't know how to do this thing. I didn't realize it was touch screen. Chow. I gotta get all super close and stuff. Make sure I don't hit my front end. Please enter your code by touching. Oh. Chow put in the wrong stuff. Right. Anyway, so she texts me and she said, Mama, in all caps, right? So I'm like, okay. And, uh, oh, Lord have mercy. I ain't never been up in this thing like this before. Drive forward, okay. Drive forward, drive forward. It's just tell me to drive forward. Okay, so car in part. Anyway, so she was like, Mama, in bold capital letters. And so I'm like, uh, yeah. And then she goes, look. And so she sent me her um, her reading test scores. Yeah, my baby reading at college level. <laughs> okay. I was like, go, Miss Peanut. Because she had told me about it, and I said, well, she said, well, mom, my, my teacher said I did really good at my reading. Like, I did, you know, very good. I'm like, okay. I said, well, I need to know what, what the reading, because, um, you know, there's different, and I think you guys, you guys were around, we, I talked about this before, I think. But um, years ago, when I was helping Miss Pina learn to read and make sure she was on level and that grade level and above grade level, and I was, you know, there's different, um, mm -mm -mm, what do you call it? Different curriculums, I guess you would call it. But, um, you know, they got like Lex style reading. They got this other type of reading, whatever. And they, you know, have like point systems and numbers and stuff. And so, you know, I was able to gauge like where she was with her reading. And, you know, Miss Pina was jamming on the reading while they were trying to say she wasn't. But, in, child, this baby is ninth grade and she is reading all the way through ninth grade level. I mean, all the way through high school level to college level. So I'm super proud of her. Um, I do believe advanced placement classes would be more beneficial. They would give her more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More challenges. Not challenges to the point of her being upset, but like, you know, really challenging her and, and getting her to learn more things. And child, I'm all for it. So they got her set for next year to do two advanced placement classes. My goal, I really would like, but I don't know how it's gonna work. I really would like like 11th grade year, especially 12th grade year for her to be able to do like post-secondary classes. So we shall see, but yeah, super excited. Oh, so yeah, that was some good news I got today. I don't like this car wash. I'm just going to tell you that. And I got the works, but baby, this is not the business. Like, let me turn it around so y'all can see. You know, I'm used to like, so this is like touchless, basically. It's just kind of like spraying against your car and whatever, you know. But I like the ones that have the soft cloth, where the cloth is touching your car and getting stuff off. We'll see how good it is once uh, it's done. Yeah, right now it says it's rinsing. But I mean, it looks like it's doing somewhat of a good job. I don't know. We'll see. Surface sealant, whatever that is. What's the surface sealant? Y'all, anybody know? 
What's the surface sealing? Is that like a wax or something? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm getting it. And now it's being rinsed <clears throat> again. And I hadn't had the car wash since I got back from Kansas City, so it definitely needed a, a washing. But oh, let me turn y'all back around. While we sit in stable, spot free rinse, whatever that means. Um, so, you know, I have vacation coming up with my family later this summer. And I am just, oh, I guess we're done. Exit slowly, it says. Do not back up, drive through slowly. Okay, it's the dryer. Still dripping on me. What well, I mean, it says drive through slowly. Okay, what is this thing in front of my car, though? Look, y'all got. What is this in front of my car? Break my glass, I know that much. Okay. I got 46, 40 some minutes, seconds. Get my back end dried off good. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So you know, I got these these uh vacations or getaways set right but I'm really kind of bummed because of my whole you know body situation and what's going on I'm just kind of frustrated because I can't do I can't do anything yeah I can walk and I only can walk limited time like you know I gotta walk so far and then oh give me a minute I gotta rest oh give me I gotta I mean I don't know, child. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. You know, and I feel bad because now, oh shoot. Now I know how, eh, well, I don't know. I'm going to say now I know how other folks feel, but then again, maybe I don't. Because, you know, I was thinking about like, like when I was a kid, you know, my grandmother, she couldn't go to places like how I take Miss Peanut, you know. So like she never went to our um, like our amusement park with us. I'm trying to think, did she even go to to the zoo? I don't think she went to the zoo. I think she was like just tell me about it or whatever, you know. Because my grandmother was quote unquote disabled, um, you know, had bad knees, legs, hips, whatever, something. Not back though. But like now, I just I don't even know what to do. Like, I can go to all this stuff. I can see all this stuff. I can film all this stuff for you guys to see. But I can't enjoy any of it. And I'm just, I'm frustrated. And so it makes me mad that I'm paying for stuff that I can't even enjoy. You know, like when we go on vacation, yeah, we can go, but I can't do anything. You know, I mean, like when we went to Kansas City, that was more specific, I guess you could say. So, I mean, yeah, I took Miss Pena to a museum, but that's because the museum was tiny, it was small, and I could walk around and then I could sit down, you know. But, you know, to do the things that she wants to do, I just, I can't do it. Now I'm, now I'm kind of second guessing, wondering if I should have somebody else take her. Somebody who would have more... I, I just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to reach out to her godmom and see what she says. See if she's available. Maybe she can go. I mean, she's older than I am, but she has a grandson too. So maybe... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I just... I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. I'm just like, and just thinking about, you know, I gotta go and have all this, this testing done and, yeah. You know, and then I'm working and yeah. You know, 
know, and I still want to spend some time with my kid. And I'm like, it's not fair to her. Well, it's not fair to me either. So let's just, let's put that out there. It's not fair to me either. So, I don't know. Child, I got it on the heat side. It's starting to, it's not warming up outside. It's only 61, but it's warming up in here and I can't breathe. Oh, you just spend a lot of time out this way. Not anymore. Mm, I could go to the Chinese place. Try to... Mm, are they open? Oh, they are. Mm. I was trying to think, what do I want to eat today? I spent $40 at the gas station, but in my defense, I did get gas and I got... Did she give me the one that I wanted? It says it's the works looking at I can show y'all this neighborhood it's so <laughs> so see all the trees there be deer out of them trees too mm -hmm. deer be out here so this is one of our suburbs um, we got some friends that live out this way I'm not gonna show you their house because that would be rude but yeah just showing y'all a little bit of something something I thought about trying to get a house out here, but mm, I kind of don't want to live out here. So, that'd be that. All right, let me turn y'all around. Because I'm getting ready to turn to her house and I don't need no, don't need no smoke. Don't need no static. Oh, yeah, because if I would have turned, you would have seen her house. She's got her flowers up. I want flowers. I want flowers. All right. I shall return. Hey, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> you know, never can just go and say, hey, how you doing? Let me grab and go. So it's been about uh, almost two hours since I last talked to y'all. Um, heading back to the city here. Oh, I might have to pin this good hair up. Child, this heat is like, Rrr. you see my hair, how it's poofing? Good Lord. I mean, it's just poofing, just poofing. Oh, poofy do. But anyway, so yes, I just left my girlfriend's house. We talked about everything, work and kids. And we really didn't spend time on the hubbies. Not too much. Because um, we can talk for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Made me think of that daggone song. Oh, I like that song though. Anyway, um, I guess now husband is wanting to chitter chat with me. So... I might have to check in with him. I think I'm going to. I went, you know, I checked my car after I did the car wash. And I'm really not happy. So I need to get that thing that husband got. He's got a, um, what do you call it? Mm. It's a uh, brush. And see if that can get this stuff off the front of my car. Because I don't like the fact that my car is not 100% clean. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at this receipt though. <sighs> yeah, I do say it's the works. Mm. Anyway. But yeah, I need to let him know. I think I'm going to go get some flowers. And he's pulling up to my girlfriend's house. I'm like, man, see, I need my flowers. Because <sighs> that was one thing. Well, when we... Well, she still works from home. I don't. But um, but when I was working from home, too, that would be one thing we would talk about, you know, going out in our yard and being around the flowers and all that stuff. And I miss that. I had to turn the air conditioning on, y'all, because, I mean, I, I was standing outside. I kid you not, for five minutes. Look at this poof. Look at that. Need to be combed through. Jesus. <clears throat> but, um. Yeah, I seen she had her flowers up all over. She had her flowers outside her house in the front. And then she had her flowers in the back. Just look really pretty. And I'm, I miss having my flowers. I'm trying to think who has um, flowers for cheap. Because I ain't trying to spend too much. You know, it rain, they tear them up. But yeah. And then I looked out her back and she had flowers on her patio and all of that. So, yeah, I kind of want to 
I want some flowers. Let's see how much they cost. See how much they cost and go and grab those. I was supposed to be taking myself to, to lunch. I guess not, honey. It's 12.51 now. I was going to, when I said I was going to go to lunch, baby, I was going to go to lunch. I was going to go and 439. Good Lord of mercy. Mm. But I was going to go to um, Benihana's, actually. Lord, let them be going. Uh, oh, I have to let them know I ain't had no lunch. Husband. Oh, him checking on him. Why? Because today is date night, right? I told y'all that. We have no idea what we are doing for date night. So let me respond back to him and let him know I haven't had lunch. Had candy bar. <laughs> oh, so if you want to know, let me show you the candy I picked up. So you know how kids, establishments and things that when they do fundraising and they be selling them candy bars. Hopefully I can grab out one of each so I can show you. Oh, I think I did. Oh, I did, I did. So give me one second because I got more than what I want to show you. But um, it's the, the world's finest chocolates. And so I got three of the caramel. I don't ate one though, so I only got two left. Then I got three of the milk chocolate. And then the last one is the crispy one. So like a Nestle Crunch almost. So yeah. So I picked up three. I paid, you know, I just got um, $9 worth because they're a dollar piece. But I'm like, shoot. I love me some that candy right there it's always been bomb so um so yes i just picked that up her like i said her daughter doing a fundraiser and typically i don't support <laughs> you know because my thing is i gotta take care of my own kid uh oh i'll be back guys decided to take a detour look at some flowers need some hanging pots these are 14.98 um, but I don't like the colors. I don't like the orange and the yellow. So, I'm going to the other side. I think I see some pink. Let me see what that side look like. Okay, so these are Impatience. Um, but I don't know. Oh, it's a strawberry plant. This one's strawberry right here. That's what it say. I don't see any in there. Do you see any in there? Mm hmm Anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna go over to the white buckets. The white buckets are $12.99. I like the color of these ones though. These look really nice, kind of more, um, what do you call it? I don't know, just nice looking. So I'm gonna go look at the uh, white buckets because the white buckets have red in it and that's what I want this year. They got some purple. That purple looks nice. So these ones here, these are $8.99. Really nice. But I think I like that red one right there. That one's nice. So I'm thinking I might get some of these. They have some over here too. Got pink and red. This one's pretty. I would love to get all the baskets that look like this. That looks nice. Hmm. We see. Okay, so this is what I went with. Um, I'll probably work on the backyard a different day. But this is going to go on the front. So I have two hangers in the front. That uh, two, These two will go on. And then I have this one where I'm actually going to take the hanger off and put it in the flower pot by the door. So yeah, I feel somewhat better now. I got some flowers to go outside my house. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was my girlfriend calling me. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, Jesus. Hold on, Jesus. Child, that hair got caught up in there. Ooh, as you can see, it's still poofing. Anyway, oh, that thing feel funny. Um, just leaving out of Menards. So you were able to see that I was getting flowers. I only got three baskets. Um, they this Menards didn't have a good selection. There's some in my hair. Um, didn't have a good so I don't know what that was, some fuzz or something. 
they didn't have a good selection so I have to go to my Menards I just got to this one because this was on the way home but um oh god there we go with the haze again let me get out of here um anyway I'll stop by the other one another time I gotta get home anyway because you know or I should say get back because you know I have to pick up Miss Peanut in a little bit but uh yeah, they didn't have a great selection, but they did have a good sale. So I do want to go to my Menards, um, cause I'm sure I can probably find some a little, you know, better there. I typically don't go to this one. At least I haven't been, I should say. I guess I could just turn this way since everybody coming, you know, I can't turn out. Lord help. Got to drive like there's a brand new baby in the car because the way I got them back there, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't need no dirt everywhere. But um, anyway, I just wanted something to go in the front of the house at least, you know. Um, husband is supposed to pick up mulch and mulch the front for me. I don't know when though, but hopefully sometime soon here. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I got going on. So I'm getting ready to go home and put just hang these up. I got to hang up the one and then put the other one in the, the bike that I have. I, I think you guys seen my bike. I typically kind of redo the bike every, well, I won't say every season, but... I'm good I'm good but typically I you know like I decorated for fall I decorated for Christmas and then I you know do something like for now or spring summer whatever so I'm gonna put some flowers out there because like right now I still have my don't talk about me but I still got my Christmas basket out there um, that I just love and it still has my Christmas lights in there and the Christmas lights still light up so I am gonna have to stop by Dollar Tree and get some lights to put in there for you know now that I'm switching out the thing but I like my little um, Christmas light bulbs they sure do be lighting up uh, so yeah that's a perfect great idea because I'm starting to now get to the point where I really don't want to decorate for outside. I mean, like, I want lights on my little trees that I got. You know, the small trees, not the big ones. But the small ones. And then have me some lights right there on the stairs. And I'm good. I don't need to do all the extra stuff. Because, you know, my baby is 15. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have my Santas in the house and my angels. But I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. So husband was texting me. He was texting me um, when I was talking to y'all before because he wanted to know what I had for lunch. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, it's date night. And I was asking him what he want to do for today. And he was like, I don't know. And so I, I know he's probably going to you know, want to get lunch or, or not lunch, but some kind of dinner. But yeah, I just I haven't eaten, which I don't know, good thing, bad thing. I could pick up something after I get Miss Peanut, but then that'd be too close to time for him to be coming home. So I might just grab me something through the drive-thru. I mean, I know that's not healthy, but whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it has gotten warm out here. I was like, you know, feeling some kind of way. I don't turn my air on in the car, you know? It's showing 73. This person behind me, baby, baby, these people. Lord help, let me get my tail home because I don't want to have to cuss because that's about where we're going with it. If homeboy hit me, I'm just saying. Yeah, you better get in that other lane. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Help me, Father God. Mm. Wrong with you. Up there playing on a cell phone. Up there. Whew. I'm telling you, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. 
I was supposed to rest. I did though. I mean, you know, I was chilling with my friend. So, and I actually I was standing the whole time when I was there at her house because I wasn't really trying to like. I know she was working, and she was she was like working, working. That's what we were talking about, you know, because her work has really picked up to the point where she starts work at seven, and some days she don't get off to seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. I'm like, oh, ain't no way in the world. And it's not like she's hourly, she's salary, so you get what you get, and that's it. Baby, ain't no way. Nope. I gotta call a timeout. <laughs> For real. It's one thing to be hourly. Mm. So, anyway, I guess I do need to check in on my emails. But, you know, I'm trying to chill. I, I hate to be like that. Ooh made it through um but i'm trying to chill i need i need rest and relaxation because if i don't get rest y'all gonna be crouchy as i don't know what i'm trying not to get no accident or have to stop too quick because i don't like i said i don't want dirt all over the back of my car but um anyway i don't know what i'm gonna grab to snack i really don't want um, i don't know i don't know <sighs> her and I both were talking about our accidents um because you know she was in a car accident too like oh my goodness I think it was before her birthday and um her car ended up getting totaled she ended up but she ended up getting the same exact car except different color and we both were talking about how, you know, the cars that we had, how we had handpicked them, this and that. Because, matter of fact, because her car was paid off. Because she bought her car back in 2013. So, it was a 2013. It was paid off. And, um, you know, so she didn't have no car note. But now she got car note again. And, you know what I mean? Um, it, her car that she has now is newer. It's a 2017. But, you know, she still got to pay a car note on it. And so she was saying, you know, I like my car and everything, but I'm like, I know, I'm a child, I know, because I remember when I sat there and I handpicked that that Buick. She got the Buick too, but she's got the car. But um, when I handpicked my Buick, man, I mean, I picked it down to the color, inside, outside, all the features on the inside. And when I think about it, I get so discouraged. I mean, I'm grateful that I was able to, you know, get another vehicle. Um, but, like, my car note is more. My insurance is more. And I'm just like, are you serious? So, because I think I pay, I think I pay almost $200 more in car note for this. Same year. You know, they both 2017. Um, but yeah, but you know, God is good that I'm able to able to pay it. You know what I mean? Because there's some folks who's not able to pay. So it is what it is. But we're going to go on and, and praise God anyhow. I'm trying to think what's over there. I'm trying to think what's over there. Let's see. Taco Bell's over there. McDonald's is over there. Um, I don't know what else is that way. But McDonald's is this way too. So I guess it don't really matter, huh? Mm. And tomorrow, I won't be able to record. But tomorrow, I will be at my alma mater. Um. So I won't really get to rest during the day. Because I'll be up there until, you might as well say, until time for Miss Pam to go home. And you know, I can't sleep in because I'm Miss Pina's ride to school. <laughs> so yeah, but it's good. But okay, guys, let me put a pin in y'all, and I'll come back um, when I'm at the house outside with the flowers. Well, there's my bike. Uh, got the bike done. So I just love my little bike. I just put something in there every time I can. I have to get rid of my Christmas basket, but right now I'm going to have the husband get that because it's too heavy for me to walk around with. 
need to sweep off my stairs, so don't talk about my stairs. But um, here is the flowers on the house. So one right there, one right there. So yeah, now I got a little little brightness out here. Looks like the bugs are already enjoying it. So that'd be that. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see everybody in a new video. Bye.